Hey guys, it's Kim and welcome to my kitchen. In this full kitchen tour, I'll be sharing my cluttered, non-aesthetic spaces, which mainly is inside my cabinets and my drawers. All right, so let's just start with the elephant in the room, which is this dated light fixture. One part of me think it's kind of cool, but then the other 93% is like patiently waiting to replace it. I don't use it very often because the recessed lighting does a pretty good job on its own. All right, so now we're gonna move into the kitchen pantry, which I recently decluttered and organized. I'll leave the pantry makeover link down below if you're interested to check it out. I buy dry beans over canned beans. I think it's more affordable, even though the cooking time is like, it takes hours, let's just say that. Okay, how cool is this? It's a three feet marshmallow skewer that I cannot wait to use. And then we have a bin of bread. There's English muffin bread, cinnamon roll bread. We love bread. We love carbs. And not much snacks in here right now, but this is totally normal. Then my canned goodies and jars for nuts and seeds. The hidden snacks and bins for some of my essential, like sunflower seed oil, which is my go-to oil when it comes to like frying in high temperatures. So I like to have those on hand as well as random bottles of sesame seed oil. <laughs> and the top shelves are things I don't use very often, which is why they're high. Okay, so if you've seen my food videos, you'll know I love exploring with different ethnic foods. My background is Jamaican, so I love spice flavors. I took a library trip and checked out some cookbooks to add some variety to our meals. I haven't tried anything in this umami bomb book. This is a book I've borrowed before. I was caught by the cover on this one too. And my favorite cookbook right now. This one I totally recommend to my Caribbean food lovers. And then I have other books for food inspiration. Next on our kitchen tour is my fruit basket. What I love most are tropical fruits like mangoes, dragon fruits, passion fruits, things outside of like strawberries and other berries. I love the patterns on the inside of them. I love looking at them. I think the inside of fruits are so beautiful. All right, Kim, just calm down, they're just fruits. Okay, so I stopped buying paper towels over a year and a half ago because I wanted to live a more sustainable, environmentally friendly lifestyle. And I make sure to try to get like 100% cotton. And yes, almost all of them are stained, especially the white ones, which are more visible. And honestly, I go through this bin in like two days and I just throw them in with a random pile of laundry. I do have a bin on the kitchen floor that I throw them in when they're used and ready to be washed. This thing is so much better than rags and paper towels because it soaks up so much moisture. So I use them for like heavy spills and it dries within an hour or hour and a half of being used. And just in case you're not wondering why I have lemons sitting um, in my sink, they're a natural disinfectant. I just like to keep them in there so that the juices from the lemon drain um, into the drain and that helps to clean it. So we use a dish rack because we wash our dishes by hand. The dishwasher that came with the house has some rust going on, so we decided not to not to use it and just um, use the dish rack instead. Okay, so this side of our kitchen tour is one of my favorite spots, not only because I have my toddler's wonderful letter artwork going on over there, but because of the results from my kitchen makeover, which I will also link below. This side of my kitchen is for dry goods and veggies. I have two faux plants and one real one that I got from Home Depot. So this bin is for my vegetables that I don't refrigerate. It's mostly always potatoes and plantains and sometimes pieces of ginger. The bin across is for my beloved onions and garlic. I've had this aloe vera plant for almost half a year now and it's still holding up. Literally the same condition how I bought it. 
shelves hold several more cookbooks, mixing bowls, and wooden spurtles. These are sold on Amazon. I'll link it below, and they're my go-to for cooking. I'd give it probably a 7 out of 10 stars. And for my jars, I have lentils, oats, flour, bulgur wheat, kidney beans, rice, but we don't really eat rice very often, probably once a month if that. And then we have quinoa and spaghetti, barley, and of course nutritional yeast. I just use scrap board to elevate the jars in the back and position it so that the jars aren't knocking against each other. On the three days out of the year that my husband actually cooks he likes to add some form of wine to his cooking so that's why these are here I started buying glass bottled water for drinking but I just bought a glass gallon jar so that we can start using dispensers and refill our water instead over my little corner here are my reusable grocery bags i recently invested in some produce bags and me being me not reading the care tag dried them in the dryer so yeah they shrunk a bit this kitchen would not be complete without my little helper, so he has his own special step stool for when we're prepping our meals together. I don't own a microwave, and that's on purpose. Now let's get into these upper cabinets. I clearly need a better way to organize my spice cabinet, but this is it for now. I have a drawer ready to organize. I just haven't gotten to it yet. My husband loves his tea, so they're cramped right there on the shelf. I plan to declutter and organize all my cabinets and I'm almost certain you'll agree with me by the end of this video. The extra drawers or overflow products hide up here. This side of the kitchen holds our drinking glasses which were once either yogurt jars, nut butter jars, pasta jars, or whatever jars. Above it are just random containers, mostly when I'm prepping, and then we have storage containers. I'm trying to move away from plastic, and these are a great start, I think. Over here is our dishes and bowls of every kind. What can I say? I love variety. I'm not bothered at all by how non-aesthetic this cabinet looks. We also use mugs outside of our glasses, um, two we got from our Trinidad trip years ago. I also keep these up here. They're spoon holders for when I'm cooking and I usually have more than one pot going at a time. I wish I actually had time to think about this because I would have just used a plate to hold my spoons. Aren't these adorable? I used to have an Instagram account where I shared my son's meals and I, I used to love doing food art and just, you know, showing different ways to get kids to eat their fruits and their vegetables and just making it fun. But now I get to share it on here with you guys. They come with suctions that are removable, but I'm always too lazy to actually use them. All right, brace yourself. We're about to venture into overcluttered territory very soon. But first my pots and pan covers, which are pretty organized to me and they're easily accessible. And then we have this. I'm not sure if it's because I don't go under here very often or what, but let's just say we have a decluttering video in our future. All right, so let's be honest guys. Does your space look like this or is it just me? Like, be honest, like, I know we don't all have, like, the perfect kitchen cabinet. Let me know in the comments what your space looked like and if you guys are even interested in a video of me organizing my cabinets. These I need to finish cleaning. They were a thrifted fine. Toothpaste is a great and affordable way to clean and polish them up.
This red tool is a lifesaver when it comes to opening those lids that hold on to their life to their jars. This is definitely a must have in my kitchen. And these are bamboo straws that I thought I needed when I was looking for plastic straw alternatives, but the whole sizes were a bit different. Some were way too big, some were way too small. Above that is a drawer that we use to hold the rest of our kitchen rags that don't fit in the bin at the time. And just in case you didn't watch the whole video, here is a quick version of my kitchen tour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more to come. I'll see you guys in my next video.